guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Um, it has been quite a while since I filmed. I feel like I keep saying this now. I keep coming on to film and then I go, oh my gosh, it's been so long since I saw you. Um, but I'm back and I'm back from holiday and I'm ready to get back into YouTube. Um, so today, let me just get a little bit more comfy. So today I have a Topshop haul. I haven't done Topshop haul in a while. I love Topshop. I don't need to go on about it. You guys know how much I love it. Um, but I basically did this shop with the intention of like spring coming in. It was really hot last week for like two or three days. It was like 20 degrees. Um, so I got very excited and went spring mad. I mean, I say that a lot of this is very much like winter and spring. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really, really excited for the warm weather. And yeah, so a lot of this stuff is definitely like transitional pieces and pieces that you can carry on into the next season. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, I'll start off with something that I've actually already worn on my Instagram. I'll pop a picture here. Um, so it's this slip skirt. I am obsessed with it. It's in this kind of like, hmm, what print is this? Animal print, but I don't know what kind. Am I sounding really dumb here? I feel like it's not. <laughs> uh, it's an animal print, okay? It's gorgeous, very, very simple. This style of skirt has been around for a while now. Um, lots of different colours, lots of different styles. Um, and I have been eyeing them up for a while and I haven't really found one that I really, really loved. But this black and white one is definitely my style. I really, really, really love it. It's very floaty, very lightweight. So I went for this one in a size 6 and also in the petite range because I feel like... Uh, these skirts I've tried a few on before and they are they run on me a little bit big. The length is like mid calf so not too long, not too short and yeah it's just a really great all round skirt. This is going to look amazing like on holiday with like little um, little tank top but also I've styled up with boots and with a uh, polo neck and a blazer, leather jackets, like literally however you want to style it you can style it, it's, I'm obsessed with it. It also looks really really fab um, for the evening but also for the day. So a very very versatile piece. I'm not afraid of wearing skirts when it's a little bit colder because you can easily put something underneath them. So if it's a bit colder I'll probably wear like little um, like sports cycling shorts underneath um, and just give you a little bit of like extra warmth. But yeah I really really love this. Okay so next is a little ribbed uh, knitted dress, a midi dress. I'm actually wearing a midi dress now. I also have two other black ones. Um, so I just thought I would get this one. It's a little bit different. Let me just take these tags away. This one's actually in a v-neck which I really like and then it has these buttons all the way down the front and it's just very very simple but very very chic and like classy. So I really love that. Uh, not very thick material so you won't be kept very warm in it but it's easy to layer with these. Again with this kind of um, dress you can put a jumper over the top and make it kind of look like a skirt. You can layer it with big jackets, you can wear leather jackets, lots and lots of different ways. Um, so yeah very very simple to wear and I also think very much an essential in a wardrobe. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. I haven't tried this one on yet, but this I got in a extra small and it was £35. I also really like the buttons. They're just very, very simple. One one like threaded stitch, which I like. And um, yeah, I just really loved it. And then it has this almost like slightly thicker panel down the middle where the buttons sit. So yeah, just a really nice timeless piece. Um, and it, oh, my arms are really sore. <laughs> oh God, I've been going to the gym and I'm like, oh. Um, but yeah, I just really loved it. So that's that piece. Again with this, you can style it up or style it down. I love wearing midi dresses with like ankle boots, like sock boots um, for evenings, like heeled boots. But then also in the day with like loafers or trainers, chunky trainers look really cool with them. Um, and even just normal chunky boots, I think look gorgeous. So yeah, lots and lots of different ways, as I said, but that is the next piece. Moving on I just got a little white t-shirt um I love t-shirts for like under blazers and under leather jackets I just think they're very like kind of you know obviously a basic but very like essential piece as I said a very plain basic tee although it does have this little um like contrast contrast stitching around um like the sleeves and the collar I actually did think the stitching was black but I've just seen now underneath this light that it is uh blue which is a little bit annoying but Oh well, I <laughs> think it kind of looks black from a distance. Um, but yeah, nothing too obvious, but I just really liked it. Something just ever so slightly different from a plain white tee. So this one I got in a UK 6 and I've already worn it, so I don't know what the price was. Um, but yeah, as I said, great underneath blazers, great underneath leather jackets, uh, even just like tucked into mom jeans and then a pair of loafers when it gets a bit warmer. They're just really, really handy to have. But it's also kind of like a boxy shaped t-shirt, so it's not very like slim fitting, it's more like boxy which I like um, especially tucked into jeans and underneath a leather jacket so that was that piece. Next is something a little bit uh, more daring <laughs> for me anyway so I actually wore this out the other day and I loved it and then I kind of was like uh, I feel a bit naked um, 
so I'm not sure about it but I love it nonetheless I think styled up and to the right place it will look cool I kind of wore it in the day and just felt like a little bit a little bit naked let me show you so it's just this little uh jumper so it's very see-through as you can see oh the sleeve's stuck in it so it's very see-through and then it has um like non see-through neck and non see-through cuffs does that make any sense <laughs> let me show you so it's sleeves are see-through can you see that and then the cuffs are kind of like not so it's quite a cool jumper it's coming like a little bit more different for me um i just wore it with a black lace bra underneath and a leather jacket over the top and then i actually paired it with jeans and chunky boots and it did look really cool but i kind of just felt a little bit naked so i think i'm gonna try it again but with like suit trousers and heels and then a blazer so it's very very classy but still quite sexy at the same time so next i just picked up a little basic body i literally i love top shop bodies i think I only really wear Topshop bodies now, they're just very comfortable. Um, I'm just trying to clip it together. So this is covered in dog hair because I've been wearing it around the house. Very, very simple. Spaghetti straps, ribbed, and it is a square neck, which usually do not suit me. Like, usually they look really bad on me because I have small boobs, um, but my boobs are a little bit bigger at the minute, so I kind of have a little bit of cleavage still, which is nice. I mostly just wear these around the house um, with doggies, but I think they're great for layering. They look really cool under jackets, like blazers kind of thing. Um, and also with that slip skirt I showed you at the start, that uh, this will look amazing with that and like loafers or boots just very very simple to wear um so yeah i really love that i've got this one in a size six i always go for a size six and top shop bodies i do find them to be very true to size okay, so next i actually picked up a suit i have not worn this out yet but i've tried it on and styled it up and i'm obsessed with it so it's very very simple bottoms just normal suit uh not suit but yeah like smart trousers um no belt loops though which i thought it did have and then i realized it didn't which is very annoying because i love a belt but um it's not a problem so a little panel around the top it has two pockets on either side a zip and a clasp hidden zip and clasp which is nice and then uh two little i think they're fake yeah fake back pockets and yeah just very very simple they have a crease down the middle and then the bottoms i've actually rolled up twice because i styled them up quite chilled i would say run a tiny bit too big for me but i mean nothing that can't be fixed with like rolling the bottoms up and uh putting like a little belt or a little like stitch in the back of the waistline so these are actually a size what size are these these are a uk4 and i'm usually a uk four to six on bottoms and i would say that the waist of these is a little bit too big but it's not a problem as i said so yeah i really like them and i have been rolling them up what well, i did when i styled them up i rolled the bottoms twice i think and i put them on with chunky alexander mcqueen trainers and it just looked so cool um uh, so yeah, i really really like these and also i'm excited to wear these with um heels i think this will look very classy so that's the bottoms and then i saw the matching top so i'm gonna just button this up for you okay and then this is the matching blazer it has this like asymmetrical um front can you see so the buttons kind of go on a three, but it kind of like crosses over. Does that make any sense? You'll see it on. Um, but yeah, very, very cool, very chic. It has very slight uh, shoulder padding, which is nice. And it just, they look really nice as a, as a set together. Um, again, as I said, dressed up or dressed down. Um, you could wear like a little polo neck underneath, underneath this or a body like the one I just showed you or like a t-shirt and just tuck it into the bottoms and then pair it with uh, chunky trainers or heels. So lots of different ways. And also these look fab on their own, they don't have to be paired together, which is great. So this one I got in a UK six and it was 49 pounds. Uh, Topshop blazers I really love. I have uh, two before this and I bind them both to be very, very, very good quality. They don't feel um, flimsy, they don't feel like the buttons are gonna fall off, you know, and any of that kind of stuff. They're just very well made and they feel very expensive. Also, my other one has the same lining, um, kind of like this green. Um, vibe and then when you roll the sleeves let me show you because I always like to roll my blazer sleeves then you have this little pop of this color here which is lovely so yeah I really couldn't recommend Topshop blazers enough I literally love them um so yeah that's that one okay and then on to a few shoes and some accessories so I'll start off with shoes as I said when I did this order it was very hot outside uh, and now it's got a little bit more chilly so I'm gonna have to wait a little more, while more I think to get much wear out of these but these are so cute so just little black slip-ons very soft material they're like suede but just very very soft um I think they'd be suede and leather they also have like a woven pattern here so you will get air to your feet which is nice and no no sweaty feet and blisters hopefully um but yeah I just really like them I thought paired with like dresses or slip skirts or jeans like literally anything they'll look fab um so yeah I really love these also these will be fab for going on holiday so these I always get 
Topshop shoes in a UK 3 and they always fit me. That's my like normal size. Um, so UK 3 and they were £24 but just great little basic shoes. The next pair I picked up I'm obsessed with. So again, slip-ons. These are more kind of like backless mules though I would say rather than like the other ones obviously like slip-on sandals. Um, but these have like this bit here and just no back. So leopard print, I love them. Very, very statement. I actually have, yeah, I've worn these on my Instagram with an all black outfit and they just look so cool. Like they just kind of jazz it up. Um, I also have a leopard print belt from Topshop and that looked very cool with it as well. So very, very simple. You have like a little bit of a strap across the front and then just this gorgeous leopard print. And then what I really love about them is all the stud detailing around the bottom and across the front. Just quite like an edgy vibe to them and I really, I really do love them. Uh, I did wear these out when it was the hot days and they did give me a little bit of a blister but nothing too bad. I think you just got to wear them in. Um, so these were £29 and again a UK 3 and yeah I just really love them. I also think with those suit trousers and with basically anything that I wear these will go with so I really do love them. Okay, and then the next pair are a pair of boots. I have seen girls wear these on Instagram quite a lot. Different styles of these. I think Topshop probably have about three or four of the same book but different like colorways and different styles so I finally caved and bought them and I just love them so patent mock croc chunky heel black I just love them <laughs> they're so my vibe and uh, they kind of have like this cowboy vibe to them so it might not show up because of the lights but kind of like this uh, front paneling which is like that cowboy thing you know <laughs> like western boots um is it western wild west wild west you know what I mean, with the horses. <laughs> um, but yeah, very, very cool, very pointy as well, which I love, just a really nice, like, kind of statement, but not in your face shoes. Also just have a zip on the inside as well. And these are trendy because of this style of boot, like the style of the shoe, but not too trendy where they're not gonna be wearable in like four or five months. So I'm gonna get my wear out of these. I'm very excited about them. And these were a little bit more expensive. They were 89 pounds, but I, as I said, I mean, I'm gonna wear these a lot. So I'm happy to pay that. So um, yeah, the final thing I got, I just fell in love with. So I actually wouldn't say this is very much my style, but I just really love it. So it's this little handbag, uh, a little silver detailing as well. It has a little metal handle. It does come with a bigger strap. So I'll show you that in a minute, but I just really love the color. I thought it was just quite a unique shape, just something a little bit different and I just love it so much. So I had to get it. I thought it was quite a unique piece. Um, the way it opens, it's also kind of like giving me a bit of like a vintage feel. Um, so you open it at the top with a little clasp button and it folds open and then you have a little compartment in here I haven't taken any of the padding out but um, a nice little like elasticated pouch so nothing's gonna fall out which is great um, and then as I said it comes with a long strap so very I don't know there's just something about it it's just really really love it um, not much else to say other than that but I just think it's quite and again quite a timeless piece because it is a little bit like different um, oh, I just love it so I <laughs> had to get that Okay, and that is everything that I picked up recently from Topshop. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, do make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for me. Um, yeah, and everything that I showed you will be linked below. If things are sold out, I will link alternatives. And I think that is everything. Um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.